Good morning. My name is Aldo Parodi. I am the Trade Commissioner of Peru in Canada. I have the pleasure to welcome all of you to the presentation of Peru Marketplace. Canada is a land of opportunities. From agricultural products to alpaca garments, Peruvian products are very well appreciated in this market. Canadian GDP is around $1.8 trillion, around eight times bigger than Peru, with a population of 38 million inhabitants. Like other economies, Canada has suffered from the impact of COVID-19. However, the GDP is now at the same levels than before the pandemic, which is a good news. The pandemic brought problems and sadness, but also opportunities. The need for natural products, including those that help the immune system, were highly appreciated and demanded in 2020, among other Peruvian superfoods. This willingness to consume healthy and organic products that respect the environment and the human being are the strengths for our exports. In 2021, Peruvian exports to Canada are growing 27% over 2020, and especially in those sectors that highly and positively impact our SMEs, working and communities. The agricultural sector, for instance, is growing 9%, the fish sector 70%, and textiles are multiplying three times their sales to the Canadian market. These achievements are based on a sustained and coordinated work between the public and the private sectors over the years with a free economy, implementing free trade agreements, and by offering a solid macroeconomic and legal framework. Maintain and improve this system will only bring benefits to all the stakeholders. For this, an additional tool, Peru Marketplace, a web-based platform where exporters and buyers will interact and make a first contact to develop future business is now being launched. You will watch testimonials from important representatives of institutions and companies that will share with you their experience with Peru as a sourcing place and the use of the marketplace. Finally, the Trade Office of Peru around the world, like the one I have the privilege to lead in Canada, we are facilitating this, this exchange in order to support a sustained growth of our export. I will now introduce our first speaker. Welcome again to the Peru Marketplace. It's a pleasure to introduce Marisabel Gonzalez. She's a program director, Latin America and the Caribbean Trade Support Services from TFO, which is an institution uh, with Canadian funds to support the development of SMEs, especially the ones that are leading by women. Marisabel, it's your turn. Hola, ¿qué tal? Saludos de la Oficina de Facilitación de Comercio con Canadá, o mejor conocida como TFO Canadá. Mi nombre es Marisabel González y soy la directora de programas para América Latina y el Caribe y hoy quiero compartir con ustedes nuestras experiencias trabajando con exportadores peruanos en los diferentes proyectos que hemos ejecutado en los últimos 12 años y cuyo objetivo final ha sido introducir los productos peruanos en el mercado canadiense. Perú ofrece una oferta exportable variada, innovadora, de alta calidad y de nicho que permite que el exportador peruano se posesione en el mercado canadiense de una manera eficiente y sostenible. La exportadora y el exportador peruano tienen una actitud comprometida y siempre están dispuestos a trabajar para adaptar sus productos a las altas exigencias del mercado canadiense. Los exportadores se preparan para establecer y desarrollar relaciones comerciales sostenibles con los compradores y es por eso que hemos tenido éxito en la ejecución de los proyectos con el apoyo incondicional de las instituciones peruanas de promoción de exportación. No me cabe duda que la plataforma Marketplace será una herramienta clave que apoyará nuestro trabajo conjunto en la promoción de la oferta exportable del Perú y será una fuente valiosa de información para los compradores canadienses. Les felicito por esta excelente iniciativa y les deseo mucha suerte. It's now my pleasure to introduce uh, Peter Simon. He's CEO of La Maison Simon, a textile company uh, here in Canada. Peter, it's your turn. 
Hello, I'm Peter Simons. I'm president and owner of La Maison Simons based in Quebec City. We're a fifth generation family business uh, in Canada. And uh, I'm really thrilled to be here today to talk to you about uh, Peru and uh, how uh, they have uh, uh, filled an essential role in our supply chain and sourcing. Uh, I oversee all the merchants and buyers at La Maison Simons. We have buying offices in 10 countries uh, throughout Europe and North America, South America, and Asia. Uh, and we, uh, we have uh, 50, 200 buyers traveling continuously looking to source in the best places. Peru has been really great for us. Uh, we love the quality that's coming out of Peru uh, in terms of the exceptional fiber and, and, and particularly cotton. It's uh, really helped us to trade up a lot. Uh, the fabrication out of Peru also is to match the fiber. So we're able to put together high quality production facilities with uh, great primary material. Um, it's allowed us to diversify our supply chains. We're post COVID today. Everyone's talking about that. I think uh, markets such as Peru are going to play uh, very important strategic roles going forward, helping people to diversify and thus strengthen their supply chains. Uh, there's obviously Canada and Peru have a long-standing relationship uh, of uh, 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 free trade and uh, the rules and regulations around trade between Peru and Canada have been beneficial, I think, to both countries. And uh, obviously, I'd have to say access to the market has been really helped by um, uh, Prom Peru. They've uh, really facilitated our understanding of the market. They've helped us uh, meet up with suppliers. It's made it easy and flexible. And their new electronic marketplace, I think they're really looking to the future and thinking about how to facilitate communication in a post-COVID era that will uh, uh, even simplify further. So overall, I guess I'm here to tell you, working in 40, 50 countries uh, on an annual basis, uh, we've really enjoyed our experience in Peru and uh, we look forward to building our business further in the future. I'd like now to introduce Charles Beresford. He's Vice President of Natural Products, an importer of fruit and vegetable here in Canada. Charles, your turn. Hello to all my dear friends from Peru. I want to thank the for the opportunity that I've been given to talk to you uh, today. Uh, I want to emphasize, first of all, the great idea that marketplaces that I've been recently introduced to because this provides an excellent opportunity to have full knowledge of what's available to import from Peru. Um, I was searching through it yesterday and I was very impressed of the way it's been set up. Our company is National Produce Marketing. Uh, we are importers, distributors, and developers of agricultural products. We have, actually, we have a small company in Peru. We have another one in Mexico. And we're starting another one in Brazil from where we develop product. Peru is a crucial partner for us because it covers uh, different uh, lines of products that we need in Canada. Canada has a very crude winter. 75% of our produce is imported, right? And Peru is becoming a more and more important partner. And I have to say, for, I'm going to give you an example. If we are big importers of mangoes. The mango from Peru is expected every year here by the consumers, by the buyers, as a mango with the highest quality, right? Uh, Peru has a very strong uh, export culture when it comes to many of its products, especially the mango. I would consider that mango uh, is a, a very important item for us, especially for Peru, again. So we are uh, very thankful to all the help that we have received from Prom Peru, in the commercial offices from Peru, in Toronto, like uh, Jose Luis Peroni, uh, several years took us to several trade shows in Peru, connected us with a, a lot of growers. And now Aldo Parodi is doing a great job. He's been very supportive of me the last several weeks since we connected. And uh, we're looking forward to doing more business with Peru. We import about 20 to 25 different products. And we, we brought a lot of asparagus from Peru, grapes, uh, a lot of mangoes, uh, mandarins. There's a whole line of products that we have developed over the years. 
Uh, and we couldn't have been able to make it without the support of the commercial office from Peru and, of course, from Peru. Uh, we would like to see this to uh, continue. Right? The prestige that Peru has in the market is very high. And I have to praise at the effort that the exporters are putting in, in quality and service. And that trend must continue. I know there's a lot of changes happening right now in the country that I'm very aware of. But whatever happens, what's most important is that we continue this quality that Peru has. That is the best ambassador of Peru, the products of Peru exports, right? And uh, we in the food business have a very important mission to feed people, right? And Peru has a lot of superfoods like quinoa and, uh, you know, which is being grown by leaps and bounds, you know, for example. Uh, and, and we would like to see that happening. I am uh, Peruvian by birth. I've been in, I lived in Peru the first 21 years of my life. I'm 68 almost right now. The rest I lived in Venezuela, the United States, in Canada 35 years. So I've been around uh, many countries and I have to say it's always, a, uh, I'm very proud of being per Peruvian born and to know exactly that Peru has a lot to offer. Like I have this map right behind me of, of Peru that was a gift from the commercial office with all different products from the different regions. And I'd like to see more trade happening, no? This is a, it's a great opportunity right now in Canada. Uh, this, this Canada has a, a, an amazing, uh, especially Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, the most co cosmopolitan city in the world is Toronto. All the races of Peru are represented here. We even have Peruvian chunchos here doing their shamanic rituals for Canadians to get here. This is amazing. It's called Curanderos SA in Kansas, the market. Um, it, it's, it, there's so much that we can benefit from the country uh, and I would like to see more initiatives happening and I know this marketplace idea is fantastic. I really like it and thank you very much for all the support that I'm getting from Prom Peru and the commercial offices here. We are very needy of that partnership to be able to succeed. Uh, please Contact us if you want help with your products, National Produce Marketing. My name is Charles Beresford, and I'm here at your service. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to introduce you Amora Carvajal, Executive Director of Prom Peru. She will talk in detail about the new platform Peru Marketplace. Welcome, Amora.
It's an honor to introduce you Claudia Cornejo. She is the Minister of Foreign Trade and Tourism of Peru and she will address us some final words. Minister, the floor is yours. Es un gusto estar con ustedes para el lanzamiento internacional del Perú Marketplace, la primera plataforma digital oficial en la cual se ofrece lo mejor de la oferta exportable peruana en un solo lugar. Esta fue desarrollada por el Ministerio de Comercio Exterior y Turismo y Promperú. Asimismo, agradezco a los consejeros de las oficinas comerciales en el exterior, autoridades y empresarios que nos están acompañando en este importante evento. Vivimos en un mundo en el que los negocios son cada vez más dinámicos y los empresarios necesitan estar cada vez más conectados. Todo esto es posible gracias al uso de las tecnologías digitales y de información, las cuales, de una manera acelerada, se han convertido en una de las principales herramientas que conecta y desarrolla el comercio internacional. El gobierno peruano no es ajeno a esta realidad y por ello estamos consolidando las políticas públicas en materia de digitalización, especialmente ligadas al comercio exterior, impulsando proyectos que logren conectar a nuestros empresarios exportadores, sobre todo las pymes y de las regiones del país con el mundo. Prueba de ello es la implementación de la Ventanilla Única de Comercio Exterior, BUSE, los programas de e-commerce, la Ruta Exportadora Digital, la Organización de Ruedas de Negocios Virtuales, Misiones de Innovación, entre otras acciones. Todos estos esfuerzos tienen como objetivo ofrecer las mejores condiciones para hacer negocios con el Perú, conectándose con empresarios confiables y una oferta exportable competitiva, acorde a las exigencias y estándares del comercio internacional. Este contacto sigue creciendo, pues a la fecha el Perú cuenta con 21 acuerdos comerciales vigentes que nos conectan con 54 mercados en el mundo. Estos representan el 81% del PBI mundial y el 41% de la población mundial. Asimismo, al cierre del año 2020, el 90% del comercio peruano estuvo cubierto por mercados con los cuales se ha establecido tratados de libre comercio. Hoy, me complace poner a su disposición el Perú Marketplace, un esfuerzo conjunto del sector público y privado peruano que hoy cuenta con más de 1.200 proveedores y más de 5.000 productos de los sectores agronegocios, industria de la vestimenta, artesanía y decoración, manufacturas diversas, productos pesqueros y de exportación de servicios. Los invito a visitar y explorar Perú Marketplace a fin de conocer nuevos socios confiables que cumplen y ofrecen bienes y servicios con altos estándares de calidad y sostenibilidad de manera sencilla y rápida a través del siguiente enlace www.perumarketplace.com Quedamos listos con nuestros consejeros comerciales y empresarios exportadores peruanos para atenderlos de la mejor manera confiable y competitiva. Muchas gracias.